Welcome makers, today I have a really cool little hack for you with your LED strips. Sometimes you have to put them in a conspicuous place and you're not able to hide the LED strip. And if you're like me, you don't like that circuit board look. Now I know I can get covers that will completely cover the LED strips, but in a lot of cases I want that extra intensity and the LED strips are in plain view. So what I was able to come up with was LED tape strips with the holes already cut out that allow you to place it right over an LED strip and have those LED strips in plain sight and have them look much nicer than that circuit board look. The great thing is, is that you can use any of the vinyl colors available in the marketplace today. You don't need a very expensive vinyl cutter. You can do these in multiple lengths and you can use your Cricut software or in my case, I'm using Vinyl Master for my large wide format vinyl cutter. So we're gonna be cutting these out for nine millimeter strips. And I've also got another really cool way that you can use these that I'll talk about later in the video. So with all that said, let's get to work. The first step in this process is to measure the entire width of two LEDs. And what this gives us is the ability to then take that total width and multiply that out. So that way we know how many LEDs we can fit into a single strip. And we can measure and see that our spacing from one to the next is 16.5 millimeters. So here we are in my vinyl cutter software and I'm using Vinyl Master Cut. This is what came with my uh, vinyl cutter and the software works pretty good. And these tools that I'm gonna be using are pretty universal to uh, any sort of image software. Lightburn, you can use um, the Cricut software, you can use Inkscape, any of these will create uh, the same sort of effect. You're just gonna have to read your manual for your particular cutter or art software in order to learn how uh, Align Distribute works within your software. But the process overall is really simple. So we're gonna start with a simple square and I'm just gonna put any old size square there because I can't draw it perfectly. Uh, I'm gonna switch tools here and this now allows me to see the height and width of the uh, square that I've got there. So what I'm gonna do is change this to 5.5 millimeters, and that's gonna give us a 0.25 padding around the entire LED. It's not much, but it, that little bit of padding can be super helpful when you are um, putting these on if for whatever reason, the LEDs weren't laid down perfectly or the vinyl cutter uh, cut this a little bit off, you may find that you need to adjust these slightly. So once we have one block down, we're gonna put a couple more here because I'm gonna make a strip of three. And once we have our strip of three, we need to align them all vertically so that there is a line between them. Now in the Vinyl Master software, that's pretty easy. Uh, I'm just gonna align them vertically here and you can see that it puts a line through there. And then once I click that, they're all together, but their spacing is off. And uh, we did a measurement and our measurement came up uh, for 16.5 millimeters. And that 16.5 was from this edge to this edge here. Now, because I've added 0.5 millimeters of padding, uh, I know that I have to reduce that spacing a little bit because the blocks are bigger. So because we added half a millimeter on each side, that's what we need to reduce our spacing by. So we'll talk about this here. So if I select all three of those and then I'm going to uh, space these apart. So in my spacing tool here, we know that we started with uh, 16.5. However, because of that extra spacing, that 0.5, I want to reduce this. So we're just going to make them 16 millimeters across. So once you have your spacing set, 
then it's a matter of telling Vinyl Master in this case uh, how far apart or how you actually measured them. So this one here, you can see I measured the insides. This one is center to center. Uh, but this is the measurement I made with the left edges. So I just put my calipers here and measured to my other one. And then that was a 16.5. So once I click this, you can see even hovering over it that it's updating the spacing there. So once I've done that and I click that, you can see they're evenly spaced apart. And that distance from here to here is now 16 millimeters. Now we also measured it over the width to make sure that the overall width was 21.5. And if I click those two, you can see up here, Vinyl Master is telling me that these two objects together have a total combined width of 21.5. So from there, we're pretty much done. This has the spacing for your LEDs. Now we could take this and we could make it part of a bigger art image. And when these are cut out, you can run LED wires right to this and have a shape, or we're just gonna make a strip here. And these LEDs are roughly nine millimeters wide. So we're just gonna draw a box around these. And then I'm gonna switch this to wireframe. So it's just the outside. And from there, it's just a matter of now aligning these two together. So we're going to align them um, vertically again. And now you can see here our little strip. This side's a little bit wider than the other. Um, so what we'll do here is we'll group these together. So now they act as one object. And then I'm gonna take this and that and we'll align them together. So now after doing the vertical alignment, um, these are now perfectly spaced and we have a nine millimeter uh, tape strip there. So we're pretty much ready to cut this out. So all we have to do is cut this out and test it on our LEDs. So I'm just gonna send this to the vinyl spooler. All right, so here we have our little three LED strip, and it's just a matter then of taking your cut out strip and placing it on top. So that's the process overall. It's pretty straightforward and simple. All you have to do is obviously repeat this for larger strips. Now, if you find this doesn't fit exactly perfect, and you can see here, I've got just a little bit of an edge on these then my suggestion is to just increase your spacing by maybe 0.1 millimeter or even 0.05 millimeter. You'll find even on longer ones that there's not a lot of consistency. So it does take a little bit of tuning to get a perfectly long strip. But once you do get that spacing right, you'll find that these fit pretty regularly in very short uh, 300 millimeter or roughly 12 inch lengths of uh, vinyl strip. Now, when you also do the vinyl strip, something to note here is that it is tremendously inexpensive. So we only have here maybe, um, you know, about 50 to 60 millimeters worth of uh, LED strip here. And this is just a very, very small amount out of a larger piece of vinyl. So to create even a large number of these, uh, it's fairly inexpensive and really just pennies to get some pretty spectacular effects with regular LEDs. So here's a proof of concept I put together and you can see here, the LED strip is underneath the vinyl. So you could easily, this is just a piece of cardboard, but it could be foam core and you could easily poke a hole through this here and wire up these LEDs. So if you wanted to use this on some sort of other art project you were putting together or add some LEDs to a project, 
This is an easy way to do it and hide the LED strip in plain sight. So as you can see, creating custom covers for your LEDs are really easy. It's just a matter of going into the vinyl software and setting it up for the spacing of your LEDs. Now I know different manufacturers manufacture them in different lengths, so that's why I didn't provide uh, just blanket templates for this because there are so many different variances in these LEDs. I really did need to show everyone how to make them themselves because of the variances in all of the different LED strip brands that are out there. So uh, if you have any questions about this and you're interested in learning a little bit more about the process, feel free to drop into our channel Discord. Now all of my patrons and channel members Lots of them like to hang out in there, so it's a great community where everyone can talk about the different projects they're working on, and we'd love to have you in there. And there's links for that all down in the description. So with that, it's gonna be the end of today's video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you mash that like button and don't forget to share and subscribe so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. So with all that said, I wanna say thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time.